Welcome. In front of me is a Redmi Note 10 Pro and today I will show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. And to get started, let's pull down the notification panel and find the toggle for it, which for me looks to be right over here, hotspot. So once you tap on it, go straight to the settings by holding it and let's tap on the set up portable hotspot. It will automatically select password, which is really nice because as you can see the password that is generated right here is an absolute garbage. So let's tap on it once more to bring up a keyboard and remove this one and set our own. Now our password that we set up does need to have eight characters in length, at which point you will be able to save it. You can also change things like the SSID, which is just going to be the network name uh, or Wi-Fi name. Uh, all the time or not all the time but basically every device uh, has the same name uh, same meaning uh, that it takes the name of the phone itself so this is redmi note 10 pro and that's going to be the name of the hotspot now i can change it if i want to or keep it as it is it's completely up to me then below that we have security i recommend you to keep it as it is you can disable it or make it even more annoying uh, device identification so I'm not exactly sure what that does to be perfectly honest. Then we have the uh, AP band, which is just the two types of Wi-Fi that this phone has access to. Um, now we have the 2.4, which is gonna be used by virtually any kind of smart device uh, that has access to Wi-Fi. And then we have the five gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is gonna be faster and more stable of a connection, but devices that don't support it simply will not see uh, hotspot at all. Now I would recommend you to change it to 5 gigahertz and at least check if your device supports it or not if it does then you can simply connect to it with the password um, if it doesn't you won't see it and all you need to do is go back on this device change it back to 2.4 and everything should work just as well but the benefit of 5 gigahertz wi-fi is just going to be better over the 2.4 so that's why i recommend you just to check it at least and then hide its SSID. I wouldn't recommend doing that. It will hide the name of it. So then you will have to go down to the list and basically add it manually. Now, anyway, once you have set it all up, tap on the check mark to save the settings and find the toggle once more and simply enable your hotspot. And there we go. Now it does give us a little notification panel right here, telling us that the uh, hotspot is active and also gives us information if someone is connected to it or not. And that is how you would enable your hotspot. Now, once you're done with it, uh, I do recommend you to keep uh, keep well, remember that it is enabled because uh, if you keep it on all the time, it will drain your battery way quicker. Uh, so once you're done with it, simply toggle it off. There is really no point keeping it on, uh, assuming you want to preserve your battery a little bit better. But anyway, that is how you would enable it and set it up. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.